This morning, thousands of Haitians still in the streets searching for loved ones and neighbors after Saturday's devastating quake. At least 300 people are confirmed dead and more than 1,800 wounded. We don't have many men power to help, you know, our brothers and sisters who are in need. We can't handle by ourselves what is happening now in, in southern Haiti. Mes amis, en direct, en direct. The country, already one of the poorest in the world, left reeling. Schools, churches, roads and homes, all gone. In 2010, a powerful earthquake ravaged the country's populated capital, Port-au-Prince, killing up to 300,000. But this one hit the island's southwestern peninsula, decimating communities with tens of thousands of residents. So this is an area that's virtually cut off from the capital and from a lot of life-saving aid right now. This young girl saved from under the rubble. And further complicating relief efforts, the high winds and rain from Tropical Storm Grace are slated to hit the island on Monday. All this just a month after the assassination of the country's president. The new crisis unfolding amidst a leadership void. When people sit at home in America, uh, they're used to government, FEMA showing up. There is no FEMA in Haiti. The Biden administration tapped USAID Administrator Samantha Power to oversee the U.S.'s coordinated response. She said she spoke last night to the Prime Minister of Haiti and that the U.S. will be deploying a disaster response team to the peninsula. Mm -hmm. Willie? You have to ask, how much more can Haiti take? Vaughn Hilliard for us this morning. Vaughn, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.